Sometimes you want to be able to show someone the results of your what-if analysis. And you can do that using a tool called Scenario Manager. I've set up some scenarios here, one, two, and three. And in those scenarios, we're going to change the selling price R, the demand D, and the amount we he buys Q to these, these different values. And one of the things you need to do to make your report really look as good as it should is to use the name manager to name these cells. You can click on a cell and type in a name in this name box up there. I prefer to use the define name tool and here it looks in an adjacent cell for a text value. In this case, it sees selling price R. Note that it does not allow you to have spaces, so it puts an underscore there. I like to only put my names on one page or one worksheet, so I'm going to select my scenario worksheet here and click OK. So now I've named that, and if you look at Name Manager here, you can see I've named the other four components that we want to show up in the Scenario Manager. So let's look at Scenario Manager. Here's our scenarios. We go to Data, What If Analysis again, Scenario Manager. And we need to add a scenario. I've already set up two and three here, but I'll show you how you add it. I'm going to click on Add. The name in this case is one, and I'm going to get rid of those cells. The changing cells, we're going to change R, D, and Q. So I want to click on R, which is B5. Now, because these other two cells are not adjacent, I can't drag that down. But what I can do is just go down to the other cell, hold down the Control key, and hit Click, and it adds that cell. I go down to the Q cell, Control, Click, and it adds that cell as well, and click OK. Now it asks me what prices, what values are in each of those cells. So I'm going to put in 15 cents, 0 0.15, and then it's 3,800 and 3,900, and I click OK. Now I've got these scenarios set up, and we can show the results. I'm going to click on Scenario 3 there and click on Show, and it changes over here, and you can see the values. If I click on 1 and click on Show, it automatically changes everything for me, and I can look at the changes on my profit and click on Show again, and I can see those values. Now I can use something called a Summary Report to capture these scenarios in one place. And it's really easy to do. We go back to Data, What If Analysis, Scenario Manager again, and I just after I've got these set up, I can just click Summary, and it asks me which result cell am I interested in. It is in my Profit Cell, B17, and I just click OK to get the scenario summary. We're not going to talk about the pivot table report in this course. I'm going to click OK and it inserts my summary report. You can see with the name cells, it makes it very easy to read there. These are the three scenarios. It's out of order because I entered the first scenario last, but it shows the values and it shows the profit. Obviously there, there's a bust. You can see that instead of 20 cents, I entered $20, and that's the reason the profit jumped up to $77,000. So anyway, that's how to use Scenario Summary Manager, and hopefully you won't make a typo when you enter your values.